This is my final year submissions while at university last year. I was a computer science student and I like to play PC games. So I took my desktop computer from home to university, but then that meant moving it from place to place every single time I moved house or just wanted to bring it back here. So that solution worked because it meant I had a lot of power, but like my coursework says, it was reasonable, but there are issues. So I could have gone for something like this, and it's a big, heavy gaming laptop this is the Omen X from HP. It's the latest one I've been testing. And it's not flawless. There's actually a fair amount that I unfortunately don't like about it. But I think it is actually the best gaming laptop in its class that I've tested so far. On the face of it, the Omen X is your classic gaming laptop with its chunky design, largely plastic build, and seemingly never ending supply of exhaust vents. The 17-inch body certainly isn't the lightest thing out there at 4.85 kilos, but to be fair, it's easy enough to carry from place to place, and when you look at the hardware inside, it's actually quite impressive just how much stuff is crammed in here. My review unit contains a full-size GTX 1080, 16 gigabytes of RAM, a NVMe SSD, and an overclockable quad-core Intel i7 processor. So when you think that this is actually all in something that is highly portable, the form factor really does become less of an issue. On the inside of the laptop, you'll be introduced to the 17-inch IPS display, a large RGB keyboard, and then a pretty run-of-the-mill trackpad. The screen is actually pretty good, as the 1080p resolution is ideal for its size, and my SKU even runs at 120Hz with G-Sync technology. It's unfortunate that it was perhaps a little bit off out of the box. I mean, I was getting some slightly luminescent greens and yellows, which was very strange. But after a couple of tweaks in the NVIDIA control panel, I got a really pleasing and striking image. I wouldn't want to rely on it for color critical applications, but it's absolutely ideal for gaming and of course general use. Now as for the keyboard, it's a little bit different as it uses a mechanical design, which gives you a little bit more travel than your standard gaming switch. But to be honest with you, I wasn't really a huge fan. I think that the keys will take some time to get used to, as you'll likely have a different opinion after bedding in with a few hours of Battlefield 1 than you will out of the box. But while desktop mechanical boards are an unquestionable step up over membrane keys, I'll simply describe the Omen X's keyboard as different. They feel a bit spongy and were perfectly fine for both gaming and typing, but I wouldn't really describe it as a huge must-have feature. The trackpad though is classic HP, as they still refuse to use a Microsoft Precision touchpad, and as such the Synaptics pad is, well, fine. It works nicely with the smooth 120Hz refresh rate, but smaller movements aren't always handled with that much grace. But I wouldn't really describe it as a cause for concern, as you're going to be using this with a mouse anyway, and on the odd occasion that you do want to use this as a laptop, it's going to get the job done. Now you'd almost certainly expect something of this calibre to be excellent at gaming. And you know what? You'd be bang on. I hadn't played Battlefield 1 in a long time, but after running the benchmarks on this thing, I genuinely couldn't put it down, as frame rates are sky high across the board, even at ultra settings, with minimum frames a second well over the 60 mark, and averages even hitting the maximum that the screen can display. In practice, this makes every game run buttery smooth, with them all feeling so, so good. Really, bar the 21X, which isn't really a laptop, this is the best portable gaming experience I've ever encountered. It won't be completely flawless, as games like PUBG and anything really that's unoptimized will see dips that will be distracting, but gaming honestly doesn't really get that much better than this. However, all of this does come at a cost, and I'm not just talking about this sky-high price tag, I'm talking about thermals and acoustics. At stock settings at maximum load, I was hitting 84 and 89 degrees C on the GPU and CPU respectively, and after overclocking the CPU to 3.8 GHz with the software, I landed at a scorching 95 degrees Celsius. To say it's concerning is a bit of an understatement, and in intense gaming loads you really may start to experience a bit of throttling, even with the fans cranked up. And speaking of fans, they do come on and they do get very loud. But to be fair, it's not actually too bad for a laptop in this class, and after using things like the Acer Predator 17, I actually was maybe pleasantly surprised, and I was unable to hear the fans at all, 
after donning a gaming headset. But to be clear, if you've never used a gaming laptop in this class before, you will definitely find it unpleasantly loud. So where does that sort of really leave us? Well, realistically, this is not the perfect product. It runs very hot, very loud, it's big, it's heavy, and it's expensive. And these are just the common trade-offs that you've got to go for if you want a product like this. It's just why I don't always recommend high-end gaming laptops to everyone. If you can accommodate a desktop, I will always say that that is the better bet. But I know a lot of people want to play games in different locations. They want a big, heavy computer that doesn't compromise on performance. And that's what the Omen X manages to achieve really well. The level of performance you can get and the fluidity of your gaming experience is up there with the best. And if that is what you're after, then the Omen X does come recommended. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, hit the like button. And if you haven't, well, hit the dislike button. But do subscribe for more videos just like this. I'll leave the affiliate link to this product down in the description below if you're interested in current pricing and stuff like that. But in the meantime, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.